Well, hey YouTube, I wanted to, oh, I just felt like doing a video, um, I've got a cat with me, I was going to get up and watch a Netflix movie, but um, yeah, she's, she's not going to let me now, <laughs> so much for that theory, <laughs> but um, anyway, um, so we've got a good fight coming up, um, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, um, Obviously, um, the one that everyone's been waiting for, like, I think they've finally got that hashed out now, so, um, looks like the fight will happen in Dubai from what I've seen, and, um, it looks like all the money and stuff has been hashed out and everything's all, is all good to go, so, yeah, um, my predictions for that fight, uh, I just think Tyson Fury's defense is too strong. Um, I just can't see AJ getting that one good hit in on, on Fury. Um, I mean, it's possible, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you could really you could say that Fury's defense is, is as good as Muhammad Ali's. And um, I just... It's very hard to see him losing when you got a defense like that. And... Um, yeah, and when they say, you know, that he doesn't hit hard, well, at his size and his weight, any, anything's possible, so, um, it's, um, so I, I would say that, um, yeah, yeah, that, that'll be good, um, there's a couple of other fights coming up, obviously, this year, we've got, the yeah, other big fight would be, um, uh, we've got, Hapthor Bjornsson versus uh, Eddie Hall, and I definitely would protect uh, Eddie Hall victory there. Eddie's had more time to prepare for this event. I, I can see that Hapthor's putting in the training, but um, I feel like Eddie Hall got a leap on him, and Eddie used to do boxing before anyway, so I kind of feel like the favourite would have to be Eddie Hall in that fight, just because he's got the experience so I would say, unless Hapthor's uh, doing other things that are, is going to put him ahead, I, I don't know how, but could happen. And, um, I mean, he is the taller guy, so that would be to his favour. But, yeah, I mean, look, anyway, from what I've seen, I, I would I would say that it's it would have to be, um, would have to be in Eddie's favour on that one. And then in Australia, the no names, <laughs> but not really, nah, not down here. We, we've got Paul Gallen and, um, what do you call it, and uh, Lucas Brown fighting. Um, yeah, and predictions would be would be that Paul Gallen being the younger man, fitter and stronger, probably will get the job done. But um, I, I, I don't know, Lucas Brown is... See, he's technically the bigger guy. He's he's uh, what would you say? He's 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 ranked higher on box rec and that. So I checked that, and he has fought like a lot more bigger names than Paul Gallen. So I guess experience would go on Lucas Brown's side. But looking at him these days, I'd say he's past it. You know, like anyone that's fighting John Hopawate. And and calling that a like a you know a good fight. I'm I'm sorry, John Opawate is not a it's not a boxer, and I don't know why the Australian Boxing Commission even give him a license and let him get his head punched in. I mean, for goodness sake, the guy's going to get brain damage. It's like seeing this Mundine wanting to fight all the time at 45, and you're looking at him like, come on, mate, you passed it, you've made your money, you got nothing to prove, just put it away. Like, go do, go live your life somewhere and do something with it. Like, you don't have to get your head punched in for any reason anymore. Just let it go. Like, it's done. It's done. Don't worry about it anymore. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that that's... <sighs> yeah. So, in Australia, there's, there is big names in boxing. Like, the biggest, the biggest names would be, like, um... Jeff Horn and um, Tim Tazuya, and yeah, 
And I think after shortly after that, you would have found Michael Zarafa. But so Anthony Mundine was like a famous boxer here in in Australian region area, not really in the rest of the world, but um, in in Australia. Um, because he, he always played the villain boxer. Like, he actually, it turns out, like most people know, he's not really actually a douchebag, but he always plays this villain off, like, you know, like, got to hate him kind of thing. Like, so people tune in so that they can... Like, he does the Mayweather thing, you know, like how Mayweather always plays the villain these days. So that's that's sort of what he does. To Obviously, people want to tune in and see him lose. That's, that's basically it. Um, and... Yeah, he's he's fighting Michael Zarafa, and I yeah that's that's a bad bad fight for um, Anthony Mundine because he's I mean Michael Zarafa he, he beat I think he nearly beat Jeff Horn if not he had beaten Jeff Horn before and yeah he'd be it'd be ranked in the top five easily um, I would say for his weight class I, I just don't. I don't see that being a... Anyway, it doesn't matter. And, um, yeah. That's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, it's... it's it, yeah. Um, um, yep, that's it. Peace.